Good morning, my friends. We have another wonderful week ahead of us and today we are revisiting one of our letter sounds with lots of different objects, different activities and different science experiments. But first we need to welcome in the day. Are you ready? The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up, the sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up, the sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. When I sit in circle, my bottom is on the floor. My legs are crisscross applesauce. My eyes are looking, my ears are listening, my mouth is closed and my hands are in my lap. Tommy Thumb is up and Tommy Thumb is down. Tommy Thumb is dancing all around the town. Dance him on your shoulders, dance him on your head. Dance him on your knees and tuck him into bed. Good morning to you, good morning to you. We're all in our spaces with bright shiny faces and I say to you, good morning to you. Good morning, Miss Alexa. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here today. Hooray! Buenos dias, buenos dias. Como estas? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted? Y usted? Buenos dias. Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Y usted? Good morning, my friends. But what day is it today? It is the first day of the working week, so let's take a look. If it's the first day of the working week, it means yesterday was the last day of the weekend, which is on a, yes, on a Sunday. I hope you had a nice weekend. So if yesterday was Sunday, it means that tomorrow will be art day, which is on a, yes, Tuesday. So if tomorrow will be Tuesday, it means today is, exactly, today is Monday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Lost years to last semana son siete, son siete. Lost years to last semana son siete, son siete. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes. Sábado, domingo, son siete, son siete. Lunes, martes. Miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Sunny, 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 sunny. Is it sunny in the sky? S-U-N-N-Y is sunny. Is it sunny in the sky? Cloudy, 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 cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? C-L-O-U-D-Y, cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? Windy, <coughs> rainy, 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 rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? R-A-I-N-Y is rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? Windy, windy. Windy, windy, is it windy in the sky? W-I-N-D-Y, windy, is it windy 
in the sky. Snowy, 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 snowy. Is it snowy in the sky? S-N-O-W-Y is snowy. Is it snowy in the sky? My friends, what is the weather like today with you? Well, yeah, there is a lot of different weather going on. It is raining one moment, sunny the next, windy the next. So right now it is sunny. So I'm going to sing about the sun. You choose a word that best suits your weather and we will meet at the end of the song. Ready? I know a day just like today and sunny was the weather. S-U-N-N-Y, S-U-N-N-Y, S. U N N Y and sunny was the weather. We are revisiting a letter sound today. Now we only did this letter maybe hmm, last month, but this letter fitted in so well with our continent study. And you'll see why this week that I decided to revisit it again, but make sure that mommies and daddies check if you've got the core and premier schedule and have a look and see because the activities with it now are a little bit different. It's very good to revisit sounds because you start putting them in your brain, locking them in and remembering what they are. So close your eyes. This bit's still the same. Close them, close them. Ready? One, two, three, open them. Do you remember this sound? Hmm. This is the letter B and it has the sound B. B. Let's trace it together. B. B. Bird. Bird. Let's have a look in our book and see what little B collected in her sound box. Now you might remember some of this and if you do, you can make a prediction about what's coming on the next page. Ready? Little B had a box. I will find things that begin with my B sound, she said. I will put them into my sound box. Little B put on her bonnet and went for a walk. Hmm, where did she go on a walk? Little B found a bird and a bird bath. Did she put the bird and the bird bath into her box? Of course she did. Little B found a bunny. Did she put the bunny into her box with the bird and the bird bath? She did. Oh, did you remember that? Then little Bo heard a sound. Bzzz. What was it? It was a bee. She put the bee into her box carefully. You have to be careful with bees. It's Next, she found a baby baboon in a tree. The baby baboon was eating a banana i will put you into my box she said do you like bananas yummy the box was so big she could hardly carry it she found a bicycle with a basket on the back she put the box into the basket and rode the bicycle over a big bump uh oh the baby baboon the bunny the bird bounced out of the box and little bub bounced off the bicycle that was a bad bump, she said. Oh, have you fallen off a bicycle before? Then she saw a ball and a bat. Let's play ball, she said. And they did. The baby baboon hit the ball with the bat. It bounced into a bush. Oh, I hope she finds it. Does she find it? Something was behind the bush. It was a bear. The bear gave the ball to little Buff. Thank you, she said. She put the bear, the bush and the ball into her box. She put the baby baboon, the bat, the bird and the bird bath and the bunny back too. The bee said, bzz, bzz, this box may break. Do you remember, does it break? Must find something bigger, said little Bur. Hmm. She rode her bicycle over a bridge. I wonder what she'll find. Under the bridge, she saw a big, big boat. She jumped into the boat and took the things out of her box. This is big enough, she said, big enough for all of us. And it was. 
Should we take a look inside of our box and see some of our new buff sounds that we found this month? Are you ready? Abre Sierra. Abre Sierra. Abre la cajita. Oh, not yet. Abre Sierra. Abre Sierra. ¿Qué hay en la cajita? ¿Qué hay en la cajita? Ooh, can you see that already? Oh, I find one thing at the top. Now, in America, this is called a b b band aid. But if you live in a different country, maybe like the UK, we call this a plaster. So you might not have this in your box, but if you're in America, b b band aid, band aid. I hope you don't need those very much. What is this? I found a b b button, a button. Hmm. I wonder what this is off actually. Oh, what else do I have in here? I have a b b. A bag, a bag. This is actually Elizabeth's bag. We have a bag. And finally, something so small. A b b bead, a bead. Do you remember that bead from one of our math lessons? I hope you have so much fun today going on another b hunt maybe outside if you can get outside, but trying to find objects that you didn't find last time. Let's see what you come up with and also check your schedule to see other ideas for today. We are going to finish up today with a song all about a dog called Buffa Bingo. If you know this song, you can join in. If you don't, I think you'll pick it up really quickly. And it goes like this. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, this time we're going to start missing off letters and clapping instead. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name O. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name O. N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name O. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name O. G-O, G-O, G-O and Bingo was his name O. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name O. O, O. Oh, and Bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name, oh. And Bingo was his name, oh. All together. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name, oh. B-I-N-G-O, B. -I -N -G -O, B I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O, and Bingo was his name Oh, Thank you so much for joining in with me. I love that one. It's a super fun song. So let's finish off today, not with bumblebee breathing. Let's do some bear breathing. What does a bear breathe out? Well, let's try and make ourselves as big as possible. So you might need to scoot up a little bit. I'm gonna pretend we're a big bear. I'm gonna breathe in and <sighs> out. We've tried the bear breathing before. You ready? Or you might be a bear trying to eat something or catch a fish. Ready? Breathe in.
fill those up and down your back pockets, my friends. I cannot wait to see you for our day. We are making something super fun today to do with Australia. Maybe something that you throw when it comes back to you, but an art form of one. Have fun today and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.